Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I just wanted to come on here really quick. I don't plan on being before you long. You know, I've seen so many people walking in fear, getting consumed with what they see on the news, the vaccine, the dollar collapsing, what's going to happen next. And yes, we should definitely be wise, but we should not be walking in fear of man or what is to come our faith and our hope and all of our fear should be in yahuwah so i just wanted to read a couple of scriptures and um i i don't plan on being before you long so i wanted to start in numbers and here we go let me get to the scriptures it's going to be numbers 14 and 9 and it says, "Only rebel not against ye." It says, "Only rebel ye. Only rebel not ye against Yahuwah. Neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bred for us. Their defense is departed from them, and Yahuwah is with us. Fear them not." So our trust and our hope has to be in Yahuwah. We cannot fear what's going on in the land. And we have to believe that Yahuwah is with us. And we have nothing to fear. You know, if Yahuwah be for us, who can be against us? So it's like, if you are walking in his ways and keeping his word and his commandments, and you love him with all your heart, mind, and soul, do you really think you have something to fear? And if you fear... Are you fearful because you know you're not walking in his ways? And it's time to just get ourselves right before him. That we won't have nothing to fear because we know at the end of the day, Yahuwah is going to make it right for us. And you have that peace and that comfort when you know that you're doing what you should be doing before him. So I'm going to also read Devarim. And this is um, Deuteronomy three and two and it says and yahuwah said unto me fear him not for i will deliver him and all his people and his land into your hand and ye shall do unto him as ye did unto sichon king of the imorim which dwell at cheshbon so we know that in the old testament this is where the children of israel are conquering their promised land and he's like i'm with you and just like he was with them then, if we are being obedient to him, we have nothing to fear now. Um, but you see that they walked in disobedience and a lot of the people died in the wilderness. A lot of only uh, Joshua and Caleb got to see their promised land. And we are living in that time. If we are walking in disobedience, we will not get to see the promised land. We do have something to fear. And maybe that's why so many are walking in fear. But if you know that you are doing everything that the Most High has told you to do as he's given you understanding, you have nothing to fear. If you are walking with him and supping with him and eating his word and loving and guarding his commandments, his statutes, his judgments. And then I'm going to go on to... Devarim 3.22 says, He shall not fear them. For Yahuwah Elohakim, he shall fight for you. So when we are walking with him, he will fight for us. You shall fear, oh, this is uh, Deuteronomy, Devarim 6 and 13. It says, You shall fear Yahuwah Elohaka and serve him and shall swear by his name. In Devarim 6 and 2, that you might fear Yahuwah Elohaka to guard all his statues and his commandments, which I have commanded you, you and your son and your son's son, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. So if you are walking in the fear of Yahuwah, your days will be prolonged. You have nothing to fear. But when you are not, that's when we have something to fear. And then I think if you have that fear, like I am concerned, then maybe you should seek Yahuwah with all your heart, mind, and soul. Repent before him and ask him to make his path plain to you. 
because we are in these last days and we need to get in alignment with Yahuwah so that we don't have nothing to fear. And then this is um, Devarim 6 and 24, and it says, And Yahuwah commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear Yahuwah Eloheinu for our good. This is for our good, always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. So when we are fearing Yahuwah and keeping his commandments, it's for our good that he might preserve us alive. But when we are not walking in obedience to him, that is when we have something to fear because we are in disobedience. And yes, the wrath of Yahuwah will come upon us. And then I'm going to Devarim 8 and 6. It says, therefore, you shall guard the commandments of Yahuwah Elohaka to walk in his ways and to fear him. And I'm going to Devarim 10 and 12, and it says, And now, Yashrael, what does Yahuwah Elohaka require of you but to fear Yahuwah Elohaka, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahuwah Elohaka with all your heart and with all your soul? There it is. What does he require of us but to walk in his ways? And to fear him. Hallelujah. But to do everything that he requires of us. It's just to be obedient to him. To love him with all our hearts. With all our minds. With all our souls. With all our being. And if we do not walk in his ways. And we do not fear him with all of our heart. That is when we have something to fear. And then Deuteronomy 10 and 20 says this. You shall fear him. Yahuwah Elohaka, him shall you serve, and him shall you cleave, and swear by his name. Hallelujah. He is the one that we should be cleaving to. And I know we love to cleave and look on YouTube and listen to, and yes, there's some great word out there. But above all, cleave to Yahuwah. Through Yahusha Hamashiach. That's what we need to be doing. Because if we don't cleave to him and put him first, we will be in a dangerous place, tossing about with every wind of doctrine. And we, we won't be sealed. We won't be covered. We have to get out of Babylon and fear Yahuwah and cleave to him and ask him to make himself plain unto us this is on an individual level. We cannot look for it. You can't look for it in me. You can't look for any of these teachers and preachers and pastors. They can't save your soul. Only Yahuwah through Yahusha Hamashiach can do that. And when you have your faith, your belief anchored in him, when you see the things that are going on in this world, you will not fear. But you will praise Yahuwah all the more because you know he is in complete control. And then I'm going to do Deuteronomy 13 and 4. And it says, You shall walk after Yahuwah Elohim Hakim and fear him and guard his commandments and obey his voice. And he shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that is the word. I'm just going to leave it right there. There's so many scriptures through fear, but I'm going to stick in the, the Torah. Just to give you a little bit. We have to cleave unto him. And only him can we cleave to. If we do not cleave unto him. We will be fearful. But when you know. You are walking with Yah. When you know. That he's the one leading you. You will not fear what you see. But you will trust him. Because see listen. This physical body. We need to stop getting so concerned with it. People get so consumed about their physical body. But they should be more consumed with their soul. Because you may can preserve your physical body for a time. But if your soul is not right, you will go to eternal damnation. And who is the only person who can put you there? 
Yahuwah. He is the only one we should fear. He said in the New Testament, it says, we should not fear a man who can just take your mortal body, but fear the one who can take your mortal body and your soul. That's who we should fear. So no matter what you see going on in this world, no matter what it looks like, trust Yahuwah. And if you are a person who is like, I am so worried and I am so stressed and I am so fearful, then seek Yahuwah like never before because that you might be anchored in him and the things of this world won't move you. Because some of us might have to die. Some of us might have to lose our lives. Let's just keep it real. But if you trust Yahuwah, that won't move you. So Shabbat Shalom. I just wanted to give that brief clip. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Shabbat. Shalom.